Hello and welcome to this Mint Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about the extended section on the Hosts tab. I'm going to be using MAMP 3.073, MAMP Pro 3.073, and Mac OS 10 Yosemite. Okay, so this is where you can make a change to your Apache configuration through the extended tab. Um, I'm going to go over most of these, or some of these uh, options, and we'll include some others in, uh, in, in blog posts. Um, Okay, at the top here, through the user interface, you can make changes um, to directives without having to go into the actual httpd.conf and make the change yourself. Um, up at the top here in the directory directive, here are the main options that you can change. You can simply, um, obviously by clicking on them, you can um, make changes. This options all is, an actually, is actually a directive in itself and it just includes all of the um, main directives in the directory directive. Um, I'll just briefly go over indexes here and follow symlinks, symlinks if owner matches, owner match, and a few others will be on blog posts. Um, I currently don't have this selected and in my um, local host, um, I don't have an index dot, uh, HTML or an index.php file, so I'm going to get forbidden here. And um, I'll just quickly show you what happens if you do click the index. You're going to get something familiar, which you've probably seen, which is the directory or list of files in the directory. Um, so that's probably something you've seen before. And you can see in here, I don't have an index.html or an index.php. Um, I could quickly um, fix that uh, down here in the directory index here. I could uh, write a blah.php. Now it's going to look for a blah.php instead. And um, we should, I should be able to see now, um, should appear. And there we go. So now that is the um, default uh, file, which Apache is going to look for. What's important to remember is the order of flow or uh, operations, I guess, um, of uh, uh, directives getting into your httpd.conf. Um, user interface um, changes are going to be reflected in your file, edit template, Apache httpd.conf template file. So if you make changes, changes in here, and this is of course a warning um, that it's, uh, if you make bad or wrong changes here, uh, things won't work and I'll go over that later. Um, so changes in the interface are going to get reflected here and changes here are gonna get reflected in the um, real httpd.com file. Um, I just want to point out when I say changes here are going to get reflected here, you might not see them. And what I mean is I typed um, blah.php as my index directory here, and um, it's going to eventually show up in the real file. But if I made a check here for blah, I don't find it. And it's probably just somewhere hidden inside one of these uh, MAMP directives or hidden in the code. You're not going to see it, but eventually it's going to show up in the real ht, um, httpd.conf file. And um, that file is in uh, your user library application support absolute MAMP Pro HTTP.com file. So it did eventually show up here. It's just you didn't see it in the inter intermediary template file, but it got reflected in, um, in, uh, in the real file. Now, having said that, you can go in here and make changes to it. I'm, I'm not going to go over that, but, uh, or I'm not going to type one in, but you can go into um, here at the bottom and you want to change a general uh, a directive 
um, you can uh, make changes here at the bottom. Um, I'll put that in a blog post as well, just making a change to the uh, http.conf template file. But um, just three things to remember. Um, changes in the interface will get reflected in the template file, and the template file is used to make the real file. And thirdly, you cannot directly change this http pd.comp file because it gets written every time you stop and start the server. So if you make changes directly to it, you are not going to, they're just going to get erased. Okay, so the uh, allow override all is going to, um, by default, it's set to all and um, it's going to allow you to, um, for your uh, HT access file to be seen. Uh, a lot of content management's, content management systems will create a ht access file which is a hidden file in your document root and it's there for the purpose of making some configuration changes to apache um, by default we allow this if you clicked here and said none um, it would um, your ht access file will be ignored and could cause some problems on uh, if on your content management system when you upload the uh, files to a host provider, you'll see some differences. So by default, it is set to uh, allow HD access files um, to be seen. And uh, we'll have a blog post on that uh, showing uh, some of the changes that you can make with uh, HD access um, or just showing you how it works and it, the fact that it's hidden and, and you can't find it in Finder and stuff like that. Okay, so um, here you can make um, specific changes to uh, the um, directory directive if you want. And of course, if you type something in like this and you try to save and start your servers, of course, um, it's not going to work because that's not a directive and you'll be told. And uh, well, that's obviously not going to work and you have to go back. So if you do, if you're making a bunch of changes in here and your Apache doesn't start, well, you will get a warning, but uh, check your, check the log file and uh, see, see what, uh, uh, see what the problem is uh, in those directives. Uh, down here in the virtual host uh, directive, I did make a legal uh, directive change. And uh, uh, here I'm just making a custom log file in my applications map ht docs um, my cool log, log file and you can see it shows up here and um, as I was mentioning earlier all the changes here uh, will eventually flow to the real http.conf file if you look in the template file up here you're not going to find it but if you do look in the uh, real uh, http.d.comp file, you will see something like, uh, oh, where'd it go? Um, cool log. There. So um, there's the error log in uh, my um, uh, local host. So, um, and one last thing here, you can type in your server administration email and that'll get reflected in your http tv.com file so um uh, one last thing um yeah of course uh yeah just check uh, a lot of these uh are going to be like the uh, log file uh, tip is going to be put in the map pro blog it's just some of these things are better in written form than uh, video form being explained and that's going to include this screencast on the extended options in map pro